Hello, this is Crown Vic, and thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Let the beat drop. Turn up all night. <laughs> all I was trying to click pause, but I kept by the end of playing. Let me leave break by the way. That is Echo Miami. He is an African artist, so dope. Please check him out. Caribbean and African vibes music but this video is about how I strengthened my hair and um, kept it from shedding um, breaking off on the ends um, retaining my length and just having an overall healthy hair journey so background my hair started falling out in January it is October now and in January, I had a big change, a big diet change. So I go from eating meat to eating, to becoming pescatarian, basically. And so after that, after about a month of it, my hair started coming out. It wasn't just coming out like shedding possible, like shedding a little bit. It was coming out in massive clumps of hair. And mind you, I was moving. I was debating about doing certain things I was going through a lot and I was stressing on top of changing my diet so a whole bunch of factors equaled my hair coming out in wads so I was just like crying because my hair is just like my life and people are like don't let you define me blah, blah, blah. but like I like long hair I like my hair long so it was terrifying because if I'm bald that's a big head like that's not cute <laughs> that's not cute but anyway so my hair was coming out in wads every day big wads clumps of balls of hair and people look in the trash can like dang like what's these hair balls doing in the, in the, in the trash can I'm like don't even don't even so literally if I do this you can see through my hair and all this other stuff like it was horrible so about month three, when I was like not really doing my hair regimen correctly, I was just putting conditioner in my hair. I wasn't really doing much. I was just I was just wetting it every day, putting conditioner and just braiding it, braiding it, and it wasn't helping. It was still coming out, coming out, coming out. So eventually, I did my research, and to strengthen my hair, I the first thing I did was every month I put a protein treatment in. Um, some people's hair don't like protein, but my previous video is called the Afogi Treatment. Um, I put that, the two-step treatment, and um, you can watch it on my channel, um, how to put that in. But every month, I put the two-step tr protein treatment in. It comes with a um, the protein treatment and then the moisturizer, and that pretty much helped my hair retain. I also put in this oil... Um, my neighbor and my family friend, her name is Tanya Street, and she concocted, like, she does special um, oil mixtures for hair. So I told her all the things that were done. Uh, she asked me a bunch of questions, like, for instance, uh, is your hair tropically dry? What about your scalp? Um, what kind of hair do you have? Do you have high porosity, low porosity? Is it dense? Is it thin? Stuff like that. Um, what is your hair typically like? Um, things like that. And then she concocted a little thing up for me. And I would, along with the protein treatment, so that step one, had her oil mixture. Step two, the protein treatment, right? Step three, I put in deep conditioners. So first, I would do the foggy hair treatment with my hair. Then after that, the next week, I want to put it in the same week. So that's week one. And then three weeks, so the first week, protein treatment. The next three weeks, every Every start of the week, I'll put in a a deep conditioner. Deep, con deep conditioner, deep conditioner, and deep conditioner. It will be your holy grail of growing out your hair, keeping it long, keeping it strengthened with whatever is going on. If, if a season change, if you change your diet, if you're stressing, this will help your hair just 
retain and keep it together. It won't fall out or anything like that. It'll just make it strong. I'm not saying it's not going to not fall out. It's not going to not fall out, but it's going to help. So at first I use cholesterol. I use Queen's Hansen's cholesterol. Um, you can use the super cholesterol or the regular cholesterol. Um, I'll show you guys a picture right now. It's, um, it's like an old school one. Queen Hansen's is pretty, um, back in the day day. Like when I used to use it, like when I was like, before I was born, my mom used to use this like blue magic and everything or the real ones know about blue magic. But blue magic is coming out with like some good hair products now. Like I have one, it's like super grow cholesterol and, um, and it has like tea in it and it's just awesome. It's awesome. They're having different flavors and I, I'm excited to buy all of them because I like really like hair products. So really excited for this. Um, I don't want to load on my phone. Here we go. This is Colleen Hansen's cholesterol. So I use that and alternate different ones. So because I know if you keep using the same thing over and over and over and over again, your hair is not willing to change. But I use the same thing probably like for a month and the next month change, next month change. So just change your deep conditioner. Um, if you see your hair is not reacting to it, just go as follows. But cholesterol is really potent, really creamy, and really, really make your hair soft. Um, and I use this, the Silk Elements cholesterol this one smells so good i don't know what the heck they put in this but i'm gonna smell it to let y'all know it's i don't even it smells like sweet like kind of like a fruity kind of feel it's and i don't know it's it's not strong but it's like kind of fruity but not too fruity like girly fruity like sweet pea from like bath and body works it's not like that fruity but it has like a fruity light smell to it. Um, so I put that. And also I would put like, uh, I don't like Cantu, really. But like these little ones, like the olive oil ones that come, the little, any deep conditioning treatment. But I wouldn't use Cantu because they're being um, discontinued for hair product violations. That's why it's still here. But I think I'm going to use it because I'm cheap and I bought it. Yeah, I'm probably gonna use it. But anyway, that's another story. Product reviews. But yeah, so it is your protein treatment, your deep conditioner, your oil that helped me, and your protective styles. So first, I'll put, as I said, the protein treatment in. Then once a week, after that, for the for the rest of the month, for three weeks, I'll put in my deep conditioner. And in between those times, how I would do my hair is, um, I would do. Uh, I'll try to do protective styles like ponytails. I'm not having my hair down so much in my face so it can like rub on my clothes or on my shoulders or something it could like break off and rub. No. You need to put your hair up if it's breaking off and hide it away from stuff that can rub on anything. Put a hair scarf on, wearing ponytail, put, like braid it up, stuff like that will really, really help. And the oil I used in between the weeks were after the protein treatment or I used after... Um, in the protein treatment or after my deep conditioner, I would just oil it up and I would put it up. Because sometimes if you use too much products in your hair, your hair doesn't know what to react to it and how to soak it up. So everybody with the OC, the o the LOCs and all the other stuff, so it's the leave-in, the oil, the cream, the leave-in, the oil, the butter, stuff like that, too many products, um, when your hair is shedding or it's not retaining the length, can be too much. Like those things are good if you want curl definition or you want um, more moisture in your hair, specific styles like wash and go, stuff like that, really good for your hair because it'll it'll like get to the shaft and your curl paddling, your true curl paddling will come through. Or if you're doing a twist, that's great out. I ain't talking fast, just you listen slow. If your hair is falling out, no. You need to keep it simple, simple as possible. So in between those, I would just grease it up or I'll leave my conditioner until I will rinse it. A deep conditioner out and I'll put regular conditioner in and I'll put an oil if if anything I'll just put conditioner and oil but most of the time throughout the week I would just put oil and the oil I'll put is or it's organic I don't have the bottle 
because it was really, really big. I got it from Costco. It's uh, the Kirkland's Organic Coconut Oil. I just put it in this bottle with this, not, not bottle, this container. This organic coconut oil. Now I'll just put it in the roots down and I'll put my um, my family friend Tanya, I'll put her concoction in my roots or um, just put some oil, any oil. Um, what oil I love, she's using I love vitamin E oil, jojoba oil, um, macadamia oil, avocado oil, um, olive oil is good too. Um, yeah, so some type of oil once a week on your scalp too. And then on the shafts, I'll put it. Um, and also what I love for my scalp and my hair, um, if I don't have regular oil, I put this. It is our cream of nature. It smells so good. Um, day and night hair and scalp conditioner. Um, it is from Morocco and it's our ardent oil brand. It's like, I don't even know how to describe the smell, but it's really good. It smells so good. Come on, camera. Wait. So bomb. Holy grail. Like, other than this Blue Magic, the Blue Magic, uh, I think it's Super Grow. Blue Magic, it's white with jasmine green tea leaves in it. Woo! Smells so good. So I love that oil. I love coconut oil. And I love this Argan stuff. Bomb, 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 bomb. So I put that in there, right? So my hair is getting stronger. Still shedding. Not in globs, but it's like maybe a palm. Palmful this time. After like three months. So what I would do, recap real quick. Um, so out of the four weeks, boom, protein treatment, two step. Then grease it up, grease it up. Deep conditioner, grease it up, oil scalp, grease it up. But only grease up your scalp like once or twice a week. Then continue on that. Then after the, so, so it's protein week one. Um, then deep condition the next three weeks. And then on that fifth week, protein again. And in between the weeks, grease it up, oil scalp once or twice a week. But grease it up every night. And what you want to do is braid it up at night. Um, I'll show you later how I do it. I'm going to scarf right now. But I'll show you how I do it. And then I would say about, hmm, I want to say about like five months later, my hair was shedding less and less and less and then i want to do protective style so i'm like okay i'm tired of doing my hair it's falling out i just need to li leave it alone right stop touching it stop touching it that's what your hair needs to do stop touching it less touchy touchy detangly detangly stop it so i put my hair up in um, a protective style braid which i'll show you right now it was um Regular box braids, I decided to do red. And you know what they say, ladies? When they going through that red phase, leave her alone. <laughs> I don't know why they say that, but I saw it on Twitter and they're like, she's going through her red phase, guys, leave her alone. And I was like, what is that supposed to mean? Because I have red hair, so it's like, it's just like a change or whatever. Like, you know, Twitter just be talking. But anyway. So I put in my protective style for about a month and a half, a month so so. And when I got it out them, that protective style, honey, let me tell you, my hair was back to normal. I'm so happy. And I'm with this big old poof. Big old poof. Looking just good and strong and no hair's coming out. No hair's coming out. When I used to do this, it would just be globs globs but now nothing maybe a string nothing i'm just so happy so happy with my hair now took me about 10 what 10 months well after when well, my hair started falling off like march so about 10 months april may june july august september october seven months to get my hair back straight like that's not bad it's not bad at all if you keep doing this routine stay constant with it your hair is going to get stronger. The protein is going to strengthen your hair. And then that oil is going to maintain that strength. Maintain that strength. Then boom, more protein. Maintain that strength. So you can vary your protein and everything. 
about how you see your hair is doing. And then once it's um, not shedding as much, that's why I, then I put the braids in because I want to strengthen my hair first because I felt like if I put my hair in braids with fake hair, it's going to fall out more because the braids are fake and then the chemicals in the, um, in the hair and all that other stuff, it's not going to help your hair strengthen itself. So get it up to par a little bit and then hit that protective style. So that's what I decided to do once my hair got a little more strength in it. I put that protective style in it. And when I had my box braids in it, I made sure my hair was moisturized every single day. Every single day. Um, so every day I'll spray my scalp with this. It's like a little braid spray. Anti-itchy. And a tea tree oil in it. And uh, I'll spray it all. So I'll spray all my scalp first. Then I'll get my braids and I'll spray my braids make sure it's all wet. Just where my hair was. Just where my hair was. And then either once a month, either every two weeks or every week, I'll grease my scalp and call it a day. Just braid up. And if you have dandruff, um, really bad dandruff, you need to wash your hair for like every twice a week, every once a week because your dandruff's bad. Um, use soap for eight. I use soap for eight really good. Made my braids last longer. Um, use that like once a week too because I have really bad dandruff sometimes. But yeah, that's what I did. And when I took out my braids, my hair was still like kind of moist from all the uh, the oils I put in it. And that's what made it stronger as well. I didn't touch it, just put the oil in it. Boom, came out those braids. On strong. It was on strong. <laughs> I sound like somebody I know. But anyway, so my hair is super long now. I wish I can show you my hair journey. But that's another video. If you guys want to see my hair journey, my, uh, my big chop, um, please comment down below and just say big chop or something like that. If you guys would do, I'm sorry, I'm lagging. I do have a wash and go tutorial coming up soon as well because someone did want to see that, but this is year two, big chop and hair super long. That's what I'm saying. That's what kind of like mad cause like on my year big chop, it was like, oh my God, my hair's falling off. So it revived and yeah. So how I greased up my hair. I just, uh, I didn't leave the, I didn't oil the scalp as much because it's going to clog your pores from growing. So that's why you only oil once a week. So I just put the oil in my hair and I just did two plaits, either two big plaits or plait means braids. I say plaits. So I plait up my hair, two on each side, or I did four depending, but I greased up from the, almost the root to the end, finger combed it, finger detangled. And braid it, braid it, braid it, braid it. Then I put in a silk scarf, went to bed, chew, woke up, unbraided it. Um, either then I put it up in a ponytail, some protective style to um, strengthen my hair. So that's the recap of my hair journey from shedage to strength. So, um, yeah, I hope this was super helpful for you. Um, I hope my products were helpful to you. Um, also to look at my, um, protein treatment tutorial. Um, it's my first, very first video. It's in, um, I don't know how to link it yet. If you guys know how to link stuff, like, you know, like, boop, click this. Like, if you guys know how to link it, um, let me know because I don't know. But, um, yeah, that's it for my strengthening video. Thank you guys so much, so, so much for watching, for watching. I hope it helped you guys if you do have heavy shedding because I know how that feels. I know, like how down you can get or how you how you just like your, your hair is falling out like you're just like what am I supposed to do like the feeling of that is just so horrible so horrendous so I know how you feel I'm here for you guys and I hope my tips that you can pick and choose which ones you want to listen to or follow my regimen depending on your hair and what works best for you but these are my tips about you know how to decrease shedding and I hope hope it works for you that you guys can use some of these tools and um some of my advice to help you guys um get your hair back to normal and strengthen it as well so you can have hair that's not falling out of your head because it sucks but um i'll see you guys next time and thanks so much for watching i love you all oh my
Other way to the sun go up, we go turn up, turn up.